Kozlowski 22, Stewart 33, and contact! Smith turned around, Tony Stewart is going to win this race! And a terrible crash coming to the finish! And this is a big, big wreck. <laughs> Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. He's bailing out of the car. Part of that car did pierce the catch fencing, shy of the start-finish line. If you were to ask me in February of 2013 who Kyle Larson was, I would probably answer back with, oh yeah, he's that one dude who flipped into the fence at Daytona and had his engine ripped out of his car. I gotta be honest, I had no clue who Kyle Larson was, but after doing my research right after his flip, I found out that he was a pretty damn good dirt racer, so I was saying, hmm, this guy stands a chance. And he would not disappoint. Later on that season, he would get his very first Truck Series win at Rockingham, beating out Cup Series regular Joey Logano. I became a believer right after that race. I told my parents at dinner that this kid was going to be a future star within the next two to three years. But I didn't expect Chip Ganassi to just hand him a full-time Cup Series ride literally the next season. I figured he would do one full-time season in the Nationwide Series, but Chip Ganassi basically said, screw it, we're just going to give you a full-time Cup Series ride. And thankfully, it worked. Now, I was questioning this move at first, but after watching him beat out both Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick in 2014 at Fontana in the Nationwide Series race, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to question it, this guy's the real deal. And literally the next day, he would get a runner-up finish in the Cup Series race. So Kyle Larson would go on to win Rookie of the Year in 2014, and he would put up some pretty flashy moments during that season. But unfortunately, he was not consistent. He would miss the playoffs in both 2014 and 2015. But in 2016, he finally made it happen, scoring his first career win at Michigan. So heading into the 2017 season, everyone fully expected Kyle Larson to have his breakout season, including myself. And once again, he would not disappoint. If Kyle Larson's gonna seal the deal, he will have earned this one. Yesterday's winner. He's been out front most of today, 106 laps, green flag. Boy, the, once again, the 11 didn't get a great start, but I tell you, that 78 is pushing There's Larson the into the corner. He's got the 78 to the inside. That's going to block the two. Whoa, though. it's going to get a little tight. Yeah, that's exactly what Larson Here wanted comes, to look see. Look at Boyer. Here comes Boyer to second. Battling Keslowski with Larson out front. Logano looking for racing room in the middle. A lot of jostling mid pack. Yeah, once that 70, that 42 is long ago. Once you get that kind of lead, it's still, everybody's bottled up back here. You're not going to catch him. Truex to fourth. McMurray fifth. Down on the grass is Ryan Blaney. Boy, this is such tense racing when you're trying to come to the checkered flag, fighting for position. White flag. Woo! Now you just pack it in there and hope it sticks. <laughs> Remember Brad Man, Kozlowski won here two back years here. ago, leading only the last lap. Back straight away, final time. I think we're past the low overtime line. I think we're good to go here. And it looks like uh, Mr. Larson is coming home. Kozlowski dives to the bottom. Not close enough. The California kid, Kyle Larson, brings it off turn number four. He, Chip Ganassi, and Chevrolet are going to victory lane in Fontana. Good job, buddy. You better belt that thing down. Brad Keselowski second. Clint Boyer third. Truex fourth. Logano fifth. That's it, Murray. Yeah, great job, boys. That's a, your top 10, top of the screen. That's a clean sweep for that 42 car for Larson. One yesterday, one today, one the pole. Great job, Chad. And the white flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. If you believe in karma and omens, look at the quarter panel of Kyle Larson's car and his uniform. Cars three, number one this weekend at the box office.
car 42 Kyle Larson number one at Michigan International Speedway Larson wins Chase Elliott second for the third yeah, Michigan yeah. race in a row. Look at this in victory lane. You don't see that very often. Kyle Larson taking on the checkered flag is today's Sunoco fueling victory. And that's the best victory lane in racing because it's just this side of pit wall, right in full view of all the fans on the front stretch. You know how often I've seen this? Never. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool. He left his mark. Look, he left his mark in the pit lane. All furniture row, front row. Watch for that target car of Kyle Larson entering the Geico restart zone. Let's go! Larson's trying to split him. He's in between the two Toyotas. He bounces off Martin Truex Jr. right in front of Matt Kenseth, and he's on the low line. Kyle Larson with a blinding restart. Has Truex got anything for him down the back straight? Trevor Bain in the 6-2. What a great start from the Roush Fenway driver. Coming to the line, and once Kyle Larson crosses here to get the white, it will be final. White flag to the 42 Chip Ganassi racing driver. Less than two miles to go. There's a hat trick on the line. One more set of corners, buddy. Kyle Larson got back here at 2.45 this morning after coming second in Knoxville. There is no second place here. Kyle Larson coming to the line with Truex chasing will win his third time in a row here in Michigan. Yeah, good job, guys. Hell of a job, buddy. I want to show like you've never put on before here. Where it didn't look that promising, and in the end, he brought it home. The team told him, I want to see a show like never before, and he's putting it on. At this moment, presented by Sunoco, fueling victories all season long. A great restart for Martin Truex Jr. A little tire smoke coming out of the 18 as he was hard into turns one and two. The 42 has cleared the 78. Going through three and four. One more time around when they get the white flag. Kyle Larson out in front of Richmond. And up into the wall goes the 78 hard. Caution will come out. Kyle Larson will be the winner. The 11, Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex made contact. Yeah, Kyle Larson wins at Richmond. I'm proud of you, buddy. You guys, hell of a job. Big crew won that race. This moment presented by Sunoco, fueling victories all season long. The fourth time, or excuse me, fifth career win for Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson was super fast during the 2017 regular season. Everything seemed to click. Now, key word, he had a breakout 2017 regular season. The playoffs were a much different story. During the elimination race of the round of 12 at Kansas, Kyle Larson would suffer a massive engine failure, pretty much dampering all of his title hopes. His 2017 stats are this, four wins, 15 top fives, 20 top tens, three poles, an average finish of 13.3, and would finish eighth in the standings. So personally, out of all the young guns we have currently in the Cup Series right now, I think Kyle Larson will be the first out of all of them to get his first Cup Series title. That's if he switches teams. Let's say if he switches to a Joe Gibbs or 
to Stuart Haas. But that's for a whole nother video entirely. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.